This is an overview of the post list widget by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the post list widget into your Elementor column. This will show all of the posts inside of the widget. Jump into post query and you can filter this by categories and by terms and you can exclude certain posts. You can also order these and use query ID for advanced users. Let's jump into general and see the setting. So the first setting is for list gap. We can determine the gap between the different items over here. The next settings are for turning on and off different parts. For example, if you want to turn on or off the image, the title, the date, let's just take off the date for example so you can see what it does. And you can change the button text. I'll change it instead of read more to learn more. Let's jump into style and see what settings we have over here. So we have a setting for border. I'm going to set the border and we have an option for the item padding. So we can add some padding over here inside of the item itself. Let's change the border to be only on the bottom instead of from all sides. So over here I'm going to write one, I'm going to unlink this and then put a zero value on the different ones. And now there's only a line on the bottom. We can also change the border color. Let's change it to a subtle gray. Awesome. And in content, let's take off the gap to zero. Inside of style, I'm going to jump into content now. And over here, we can determine the padding around the content area. So if you want this margin over here to be bigger, we can turn this link off. And for the left side, I'm going to make it 50. And that will add padding around over here. We can also align the content to the top to the or to the bottom of the item which is really nice of course you need to play around with padding if you want it to go all the way to the bottom then that should be zero over here let's align it back to center and add an equal padding from all sides let's go for 40 this time which i think is a nice spacing and let's jump into image over here in the image, I'm going to make the width and the height equal, and I can push up the radius all the way to make it a circle. So you can really style this any way that you want. Inside of title, we can add spacing if we need, and we can change the color and typography. Let's just make the title a little bit bigger so you can see how that looks, and make the font bolder. Awesome. You can do the same thing for date, for text, for example, if I want to space the text a little bit, and let's jump into button. Over here in the button, we have an option for the padding of the button. If you want to make the button wider, you can use the right and left padding settings to make it wider. You can also make the button rounded by using the button radius, and you can also space the button out however you want. You have also an option to make the button full width. Right now it's inline. Inline means that it takes the amount of width of the word that's inside of it. Of course, you have all the color settings and the border settings that you need for a call to action button. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.